Hey guys, Unknown Force here. Uh, Going to show a quick, hopefully a quick, um, demonstration of downgrading the H-boot from... Uh, pr you can do this from pretty much any H-boot, but um, I'm going to do it with the latest and greatest one here. Uh, 1.58 down to 1.40. Um, as you can see, I am S on and on 1.58. Um, I'm using the new, uh, there's a zip file now out for the latest OTA for 2.95 that actually includes just these um, things that it does allow it to flash. Um, as you can see I'm locked in S on so it, and it is allowing these to flash uh, normally here. So uh, I'm going to do this kind of real time here. I'll tell it to update. I'm doing the battery pull method here rather than uh, using the power cord. Um, but uh, same same difference here, so we'll go ahead and tell it to update here. I will pull off the back cover. First the boot loading is updating, now the boot loader is updating itself. And I will go ahead and pull the battery on that. Now hopefully that worked. I've already got the tool up here running, but let me double check that I've got it bricked properly. And I do have a solid light, so it looked good. We'll go ahead and do downgrade. That's option three there. And tell it, yes, I'm ready to begin. We'll go ahead and plug it in to our computer here. And it found it, wrote what it needed to, and it says it was successful. So I'm going to go ahead and boot this back up. Um, these I.O. errors you can ignore. That just happens when you unplug it too quickly, so to speak. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect anything. Um, but I'll go ahead and turn us back on here. And, as you can see shortly here, when it focuses, 1.40. And S on still, of course, but that's all good to go. And it's still got the uh, SD card that I have in there. I didn't take that out actually. But same thing. From here you'd go to a fast boot and load up 1.13 and you're good to go. Alright, thanks for watching guys.